hello guys welcome to my channel uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, point data visualization using uh, QGIS software for this tutorial we will see how to map uh, air quality uh, using point data I have downloaded the data from this uh, website which is called open AQ or uh, open aq.org you can uh, download it for free from this uh, website the data consistence pm 2.5 uh, which shows pm the definition or all information about the data is here in this website you can check and read about the more information about the data pm 2.5 refers to atmospheric particulate matter or pm that have a diameter of less than 2.5 micrometers so by using this pm value of uh, different station you, mm, we are going to map uh, the air quality so uh, if you want to uh, download the data just go to this website i leave the li link in the video description you can use that link to download this point data you can just select your country air city and fill the informations and download the data for free and you get uh, excel file or csv uh, data i have downloaded for uh, my area <coughs> so once you have downloaded your data just go to your uh, qgis software and open your uh, software and uh, using this other data button you can add uh, your csv data here uh, select this data source manager tab and uh, uh, switch to this <coughs> add the eliminated data layer and go to your file this is the data i have downloaded for that area which is in excel file and just open it and from this uh, take the file format as csv and from geometry definition select point coordinates and also for x field select longitude and for y latitude and let's switch this to the source uh, crs or coordinate reference system and then add once you have added your data, you get new layer added to your map canvas in the layer option. And if you check one of the point feature from this layer, it shows you the value of PM value of this area. It shows 1.5, 1.7 value. And we are going to map this by using this uh, value or uh, pm value of each locations so for better looking you can add a uh, quick map service from this uh, add open street map if you have quick map service in plugin installed in your QGIS software you can add the monochromatic color but in my case i have only the standard version of quick map service but for better looking you can add the quick map service monochromatic color These are uh, the locations or point features with PM value, with generate value of PM values. So uh, once you have added your uh, points, we can just uh, we will color each point according to the observed pm 2.5 value and i chose this graduate symbol from the layer property just select this and open the layer <coughs> here uh, layer styling window will open here from this just select uh, switch to the symbology and from this select the graduate symbol in, in the value field we have to select since we are going to map the pm value select this value uh, I'm going to classify this value into uh, five or six classes. Six classes by just using this reference in order to map this P air quality uh, value based on their PM value. We can categorize them as a good P 
pm value again moderately polluted poorly polluted very poor uh, air quality and severe air quality i got this from the national uh, air quality index you can just google it and uh, you can, can categorize your data based on this value so uh, just select six classes from this <coughs> So uh, just let us just as a class uh, value to match those uh, defined in the national air quality index. And we can also change uh, the legend labels to the human uh, readable category names. And you can double click uh, these uh, classes and uh, change the value of each <coughs> uh, classes that ranges from higher to lower value. Just I keep this in the default one and they change the legend or the label of each uh, maps so for the first color or for the first uh, class i can redeem it as uh, good for the legend one and the second class will be uh, satisfactory Yeah, as you can see, you add uh, legend, the legends are added in the map uh, in the layer part. So next, we will try to uh, convert this color. Just click uh, this um, tab and then select this all color ramps. From this, we can select uh, red, yellow, and the green. Red, yellow, and the green. This one. And in order to match the color with the uh, symbols or with the uh, degree, we can convert this into the invert color in order to show the red one as a very severe class. Just click invert and you can see that uh, the red one shows the saver and the green one shows the good air quality. Next, uh, we will add labels to these maps, uh, label tab, and from this no label to select this single labels. And the label value will be the PM value, so select values. From this, uh, switch to this background, from this, uh, stick this draw background. Uh, you can select the rectangle or the shape you want. You wanted to show and from this uh, we can change the background color so edit and then select this symbol color double then click ok so as you can see the color of the point and the color of the background will be uh, similar Mm. then uh, switch to this uh, placement from this uh, select offset from pointers placement offset from pointers and adjust the offset value of x and y just uh, give 0 point negative 5 for y and I keep 0 for uh, offset x this will adjust the placement of the labels over the pointers to back to this uh, layer and I take this draw call out call out this will uh, make uh, the legend or the labeling looks like uh, good looking so lastly you can check this uh, box in order to easy to see uh, which levels belongs to which points this directly shows the uh, points for the uh, each labelings so uh, lastly, we can make uh, to show this in on map or we can prepare a, a map of this area. So uh, once we have done with this, or if you are okay with your leveling and uh, colors of your uh, data, you can just print your map, just select project and uh, new print layout. Just you can leave the name of the layout and add your maps 
and select this add item and add map through a rectangle on this uh, white place so once uh, your map is added on this layout uh, page you can add all the necessary map elements mm, so next we will add so, uh, go to this item add and then uh, select this add uh, shape and the uh, rectangle i need to put it around here so uh, in this rectangle they add uh, labels with the rectangle we just created we have to add a text on this uh, rectangle and the in title which is average pm 2.5 concentration in unit this and the a date of this i have downloaded this data select and copy the title and add to your map layout uh, add a labels add label and to indicate the source of the data just create this and i have uh, this source central this is the website that i have downloaded the data so add sources like this this is the source yeah here also in the same triangle you can add the legend a legend add a legend we select this place so uh, manually mm, the default legend placement is vertical so in a single column we can change it to be in a multiple column to make uh, it uh, in span horizontally and so scroll down to this column section and uh, change the column count to uh, two and uh, just click this split so from the legend, select legend in the term property. And from the column section, select two. And take this uh, equal column width or split. And take this out of it and select this. Yeah, put this layer into hidden layer. Our legend, legend looks like this. Finally, the heading was uh, removed from this. So uh, here we have source of our data and the title of our map shows the average PM value and the legend that shows uh, this data. This property section then enter the title of this this legend we can say it air quality index we can export uh, our map so to export the one but once you are satisfied with the map uh, we can just export the map so you can export the composite as an image if you wanted to uh, use it in a website or email or slide show yeah, just you can also ex export it as a, a, a svg so it can be further edited in a graphics uh, program such as ln kscape but uh, the most common format for mapix export is in a pdf format so uh, so uh, let us export our map to a pdf before exporting just switch the layout tab 
and we are using the VSMAP layer for um, the open street map this layer is created using the individual tiles that are zoom dependent so setting a higher export resolution will fit a higher resolution tiles with different labeling scheme when exporting so uh, you you may experiment with this value to get the right level of detail in the base maps so for this particular exercise export resolution will be in 100 dpi works well so go to this layout then click uh, export as pdf here these are the another option in order to export your map so select this export from this select these specific uh, parameters to get more uh, full information about your uh, data uh, tick this create a uh, tiff or your special tiff or geo pdf no this is uh, our output this open at this all about my today's uh, tutorial if you liked it please uh, share with your friend and uh, subscribe to my channel and then i will see you in the next tutorial thank you for your time see you next